You can get this really cool Minotaur helmet in Odyssey that's actually not bad in terms of stats as well. So let's take a look at it. In this video I will of course tell you how to get it as well. So if you enjoyed that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Okay it's not as badass as the Anubis helmet from Origins but that is mostly because it's more of a fun helmet that will make sense after you finish the quest as well that you need to do. Like there's an opening for Cassandra or Alexios eyes as well and it looks kind of gross and the description assures Assures us that it smells as bad as it looks. Aye. It's sadly not a legendary item, but this epic miniature helm still has some nice stats that mostly enhance your fire damage with plus 20% fire damage, but it also increases your overall damage by 5%. The warrior damage is 14% instead of the 15% you will find on legendary helmets. And since I used this helmet with the warrior playstyle, I added some extra damage with the warrior abilities onto it via engraving, and you unlock that one if you got the Spartan War Hero set. And you get that one if you kill all the cultists in the Peloponnesian League. Because we find the great extra fire damage on this Minotaur Helm, I use this helm with a fire build. Like I already showed you the Mallet of the Everlasting Flame in a recent video. So that in combination with this helm and also the Agamemnon set that increases the burning duration and overall the fire damage as well, is just great and makes it a pretty useful max level build as well. You by the way get the Agamemnon set from the Silver Vine cultist. Sad part of course is that you do not have the set bonus if you wear the Minotaur helm but yeah you gotta sacrifice something for your looks right. You get this helmet from the Minotaur the Force side quest in Pefka and I gotta say this quest line is really really enjoyable like without spoiling anything it does not really take itself too seriously but I think this awesome helmet shows you that as well so just follow this quest that you should be able to do around the level 26 to 30 because that is the level requirement for that Pefka region. There will be some quests that follow but it will kind of speak for itself and it will also lead you to one of the cultists so it's totally worth doing that in that regards as well so yes go there if you want to run around as a minotaur and of course subscribe for everything as a screen odyssey i got a ton of tips and tricks on the channel and we'll have way more content coming your way like this video to support channel and i will of course speak to you next time goodbye